Um, hey guys, Guitar Rock 360. I um, just want to make a hopefully my first comparison video of the difference between the brushless brushless motors right here and brush motors. This is pretty much really good for your RC needs and what are the advantages and disadvantages and what are the basis basics of basic components of any of these type of motors and so on and so forth. So anyways, um, let's go start off with the brush motor. Um, this came out of a um, drill, a power tool, but um, this is actually pretty much a similar size to one of the big uh, RC motors, like the Traxxas uh, Summit, they also known as the Titan 12, no, Titan 7075 size motors. And um, yeah, those are pretty darn powerful motors. But uh, this is what real these kind of motors really started off the whole RC cars. This is what really started off the um, RC style uh, brush motors were like the track of stingers and stuff like that. So let's go take a look at the exterior features real quick of a brush motor. You got the output shaft right here, and then you got your pinion gear. So what these little openings here right openings right here is the, where the vents where air cool air can come through and then there's a little little plastic thing over here so that's a spin that's providing some air that's just basically a fan and then here's your end bell you got the um, you have a, a bushing or a bearing this one uses an oil like bushing but there's some motors that will use a bearing and yeah so very I do apologize for the lighting but yeah, those are the exterior features of a brush brush motor. Now as technology went by uh, with advancing, we got something called brushless motors. Um, yeah, sorry for the little tape over here. Um, there's some, this, this little piece of wire is kind of flopping around a little bit. But I'll get that fixed as soon as possible. So here is the brushless motor. This came from out from a Traxxas slash two-wheel drive. Um, this one is a 540, I think a 550 size motor, but either way, it's, it's pretty darn big for a 10 scale size motor. Nothing really much to see here, but three wires, and there's no vents. And I'll explain a little bit later on why there's three wires than two wires on brushless motors. So I'm going to stop this video here real quick, and I will see you guys in the next part. So let's go take a look at what are what are the inside components of a brush and brushless motor. Um, sorry for the little bad camera angle, but here we go. I'll just hold it like this. So um, over here is just basically what it will look like, the anatomy. Um, so we got this little this little rope. the reason why we have a it's called a brush motor is this little black thing over here that I've actually shaded. Is called what we call brushes, and those brushes are come are integral components that makes up brush motors, and they kind of act like a um, activator to turn on what we call a commutator. Um, uh, what we call we call a commutator, which is pointed in red right here, not this one right here. That's that's called the armature. That's that's the commutator. That's written. That's actually color coded in red. And then we also got your bearing or bushing, which is colored in sky blue. No, sorry, blue green actually. And then though, and then the commutator will start to rotate. Will start to rotate uh, along with what we call an armature, which is written in, which is done in scarlet. And then as the armature is rotating, so are the magnets, which is colored in brown, which is right there. And then you also got your output shaft. So here is what it looks like, uh, a cross section, I believe. <laughs> I'm not really, I'm not so technical in this one, so I'm just gonna do it the best I can. So as it rotates, the commutator acts like an on 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 off switch. That's what it basically is doing. So as it rotates, uh, we have some electrical current that's going through the 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 brushes the. Like like I said, you know, I'm not very technical, but that's what's really happening as the motors are. There's like some kind of a 
electrical energy that's going on inside the motors to cause it to turn. And we have, and then here's, this is south, this is north. So as it rotates, you are creating some electrical current as it rotates along. And then over here is your battery, where the battery will be connected to. Um, so yeah, so let's go move on to a brushless motor. Like I said, um, brushless motors tends to be less complicated for me, in my opinion, than brush motors, even though that brush motor seems very basic. So anyways, brushless motors tend to be uh, less maintenance-free, almost maintenance-free. Oh, let me move the camera up real quick. There we go. And basically, what brushless motor is, is basically you turn, in, turn like, the, I don't know how you say this, but, like, you just basically switch the windings where it used to be on the shaft. Everything that's on the shaft of a brush motor is pretty much switched um, inside out. So basically, no, not that, not that inside out. Um, basically, the magnet, instead of the magnet being part of the armature, the magnet is actually part of the rotor, which is part of the output shaft. And your windings is no longer on the shaft of the motor. It's now on next to the can of the of the motor itself. And then we got a new we got this new device called a stator. I'm not too sure if the brush motor has a stator with it, but if it if there is, that wouldn't surprise me. But as of the time right now, the stator is right there. It's a new part on brushless motors. So if you take a look at inside a brush motor as it rotates, it's very less it's kind of less complicated than what you think on this, in my opinion. So there's north and south. And as it rotates along, you're creating some electrical current. And then all the energy will be coming from the ESC and battery. So, there you guys have it for, for that one. So what are the advantages and disadvantages of brush and brushless motors? It's pretty much like an, a personal, personal choice of yours. Basically, the advantages of brush motors is when when something goes wrong and you feel like you need to buy a new one you don't have to change any anything on your any electronics on your car you can just keep the regular ESC and just buy the motor a new motor itself and just continue running but with brushless with brushless motors you have to change the ESC in order to have this kind of motor on your car or truck boat or helicopter the reason and that's the reason why that brushless motors tend to have oops tend to have three wires instead of two why is that you may ask it's pretty simple the reason why that brush motors have two wires red for positive and a black for negative and compared to brushless motors which have three is let's put it this way that brushless motors tend to run in a form of ac or alternating current Whereas brush motors tend to run in DC or direct current. So that's pretty much the basic reason why that, that brushless technology tends to be uh, different than brush technology would be. Um, let me show you a, a brushed brushless ESC real quick. And here is on my Traxxas slash two wheel drive. Uh, right there. Right there, that's a brushless ESC. You can see, and that's where the yeah, I'm trying to move out closer, closer. There you go. See those little colors over there? That's where the wires. That's where the connectors go. All right, so that's what a brushless ESC kind of looks like. But there's plenty of them, plenty of brush ESCs out there. So um. So yeah, that's pretty much the basic advantages and disadvantages of brushless motors. You have to ch you are required to change your ESC in order to have a brush brushless uh, brushless power. So which is kind of a down um, a downer, but it's also a very good thing because the advantage wise, it's the reason why it's a good advantage is because 
if you're running your your regular 8.4 volt nickel metal hydride battery on a brush motor you won't be you're actually able to be going faster on br on brush systems you're going to go a lot faster on the same battery that you're using on the brush motor because brush motors tend to have less more less torque and brush motors tend to not last long because I had a Titan 12 turn 550 size motor on my tracks of slash originally and that did not go out well and like within a month it it died down on me and I bought a new motor brush motor for that one called the Associator Reedy Radin 17 turn motor and I sold that one because I already bought myself a brushless system so yeah I am now into brushless systems now so uh, brushless systems tend to be more reliable because they last a lot longer and you don't need to worry about fixing it up all the time hmm, camera stop but compared to to these kinds of motors you have to um, the disadvantage with these kind of motors is you can't pop the end bell out you can it's, it could be done but it's when you put it back on it's gonna be it may be very hard to put it back on and you're probably never gonna take it out so but basically if this thing goes out and anything goes out on this one you're done we're pretty much done with it whereas with, whereas with these kind of motors um, if something goes wrong in this one you can be able to fix it but these kind of motors tend to be less less uh, hassle to fix up with so either way these two motors have an advantage point and a disadvantage point um, as far as speed wise and batteries on just the Keep a standard 8.4 volt nickel metal hydride battery. You're gonna get a lot more. You're gonna go a lot faster and more efficiency and power with a brushless motor than when you have a brush motor. It's it's very it's just very simple. Um, even with lipo batteries, brushless systems tend to be a lot more faster than than brush motors. Even if you're putting a 3s lipo on an XL a Trax XL5 system on your Trax Slash, Rustler, Bandit, or Stampede or anything like that so there you guys have it um, if, you, if you think I have any um, if you have any questions about brushless systems and brush systems go take put down on the comment section below and if you think I, ha I missed something or you want something want me to improve on something about the differences, differences between brush and brushless motors please let me know and I'll hopefully make an update but if you have any questions about these two and uh, Put them on the on the comment section below, and I will see you guys next for another comparison video of RC stuff, uh, mainly tracks of stuff, you know. But hopefully, when I get into other RC stuff like associated and low C stuff like that, I will do some more videos on those. So, but for now, tracks of stuff. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys later. Peace.